Hi folks, so I'm going to start off this video with a bit of an apology. Um, I spent a lot of money in the UK at shops and one of my favourite shops is Unman Tech and they've been pretty good to me um, over the years in terms of service etc. And some months ago they released their, their first mortar which is called basically the FPV, which is their in-house brand. And these are the 1650 kV motor. And these are 2208s. And if you look, you can see they have the Unmanned Tech logo on them. Um, basically this, this U. And they sent me these motors to review a couple of months ago. And I opened them up. Um, put them on a quad a couple of days later came back and I had a basic a scratchy motor um, It was sort of clicking and sticking. So I had a look at it Couldn't see an issue uh, Messaged them and said, you know, I can't review this guys that this this motor is dodgy um, And they were you know pretty or should I say cam was pretty upset Obviously, they'd spent a lot of time and effort designing these motors um, And they sent the first one out for review and I was saying you know, it's a dodgy, dodgy motor. And they were fine. They asked me to send them back, paid for postage, etc. And I never did. Um, it's been a really busy couple of months. Got two new cars, a puppy, loads of stuff going on. Um, and I've just struggled for time. Um, and I forever meant to send these motors back, but never did do. Um, and I've apologised a couple of times and told them I'll, I'll get them off to them. And they haven't said anything. They haven't chased me. Um, but obviously it's not very professional. Anyway, the other day I sold my Skyzone R3s to one of the local lads. And the reason I sold them is because I'm getting some new Sky Skyzones in for review. And I've only got one head, so I can't really, you know, it's pointless keeping multiple sets of goggles. And when the lads were around, I mentioned these and I took them out of where I've put them. And they were smooth as a whistle. So I kind of like looked at them all and couldn't find the issue that I had. And even though I'd taken the bells off before and had a look, I'm guessing that when I left them after I put them on my quad, a bit of carbon dust or something from filing or whatever got into them, um, and that was the issue. So Unmantech, if you're watching, I'm really sorry. Um, clearly I cocked up and there was nothing wrong um, with the motor. So this is gonna be the review that I'm belatedly making. Um, and eating humble pie. So when Unmantech set out to make their own motor, they had a couple of things that they were trying to achieve. One is that they wanted a robust motor, so they wanted it to sort of have a decent thickness bell, to be pretty reliable um, for bandols and things like that. They wanted it to be made out of the best materials, and they wanted to be it to be sold at a fair price. And this sells for about 18 quid. So we have 7075 aluminium bell. We've got titanium hollow shaft. On the underside, we have a nice M3 set screw. And we've got lovely N52 magnets. And these now feel silky smooth. So I'm not gonna bother taking them apart, but as you can see, We've got single strand windings and they're beautifully wound. And I know who these are made by and it's a really quality company. Um, they don't sell mortars in the UK that I'm aware of, but they're a company with a really good reputation. So they should be pretty durable. Um, you've got 0.15 laminations and you know just the usual stuff you'd expect on a top end motor. So this is just a quick look at them. Clearly as normal, I'm gonna put them in the air and fly them and see what I think. And 1650 kV is generally a little bit low, I would say for five inch um, freestyle or racing. I would say 1650 kV is probably perfect on a six inch quad. But the fact that these are 2208s, which is a pretty big motor, um, should mean that they've got bags of um, torque and power. Um, 
especially on a quad that's pretty slender and light like this guy. So again, in another video, I'll obviously show you this quad flying. If you haven't seen the Gap RC review, this is the Gap RC Mark IV. And as you can see, it's a slender, lightweight freestyle frame. And mine has got a GoPro mount on it, which was designed for me by my friend Mark. I don't know how well this will come across on camera, but it's also got my name on it. And basically this is just a tweaked version of the SX218 mount that he made. So now I've put it together, it's quite a nice lightweight quad. I've got a few bits to do, just finish off the antenna mount because um, I couldn't find a, an Immortal T. But essentially all I've done is pulled a lot of parts out of um, the smooth operator that I gave away and sent and, and uh, the guy who won it has received. So I'm running it with a KISS2 board and underneath I've got a Hobbywing G2 45 amp 6S flight controller. Um, I've got a Crossfire uh, receiver in it, a uh, Crossfire Nano, and at the back I've got a TBS Evo, which to be honest I've faffed around a lot with, um, and although I've got the on-screen display, I haven't got um, RSSI, which is pretty disappointing for me, so I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong or whether it's not capable to uh, show RSSI, but um, yeah, it just shows a basic... OSD. I've got a pretty large cap here, uh, 1000 UF 50 volt, and I'm just using the 3D printed mount that came with my SX218 quad just to hold it in place above there. And at the front, I've got a little self powered 5 volt buzzer and a Foxier Predator V. Two, I think, or a V3, and at the back, Foxy a lollipop V3, which I've just held in place briefly with this 3D printed mount, which is going to last two seconds, but is all I could find on a pinch. So, yeah, so I'm pretty pleased with the frame build itself. It's not the cleanest build I've ever done because I'm using second hand parts. Um, obviously, I haven't used the gold screws on top like I said I wouldn't do um, because it doesn't match the rest of the, the, the silver frame. And I've got a few little bits of finishing off to do around the wiring at the front for the motors just to make those secure. And again, at the back, I'm just temporarily using these old um, LED race wire. Um, and these are a bit knackered, so I've got some more on the way. So that is it. Um, in terms of the way it will fly, I'm hoping it will fly really good, similar to the SX218. And these motors should have plenty of um, plenty of punch. It should be really interesting to fly and see how it compares to the other quad with its smaller 2207s. So yeah, this was just really a video to apologise to on Mantec for my sluggish return. Apologies. All these motors are really smooth um, and they seem to be running fine. So yeah, in another video I'll get this guy up in the air and we'll see how she flies. In other news, I have some stuff I'm waiting to test. I have some massive Racer Star Air B motors and these are a 2514, so a massive motor, motor in 1498 kV as you can see that's a hell of a pretty motor um, and these are designed according to what it says on here by Timor T motor and the quality seems really really good certainly a step above what you'd expect for racer star and because these are such massive motors I have I can find it A frame to look at and this is the iFlight XL8 V3 8 inch frame which is probably a little bit small for those motors but I didn't really want to go any bigger for that 
and somewhat amusingly Racer Store have released an 8S 100 amp 4 in 1 ESC um, which looks really good so I was supposed to get one of those to review and it arrived and here it is I've got all the cables but there's no ESC in it so there you go so before anybody starts taking the piss out of Banggood in the way that they are um, I've had this from a number of people including people in the UK not on Mantec I hasten to add so shit happens but pretty funny nonetheless so that kind of puts paid to um, what I was going to do so yeah in another video we'll look at um, an 8 inch quad how it flies um, obviously it's going to be a bit more of a long range quad and in the meantime if I show you I have been tidying up my immensely messy workspace so I'm nearly on the home run now but when that's all sorted out it should make life a little bit easier around here and if I turn the lights down you can see it all glows up So yeah, so now have beautiful ambient lighting. So there's going to be a new feature on this channel when I sort it out. And it's called, what does the puppy think? Oh, what's that Hamish? Is that daddy's quad cop quadcopter? Oh, how pretty is that? How pretty is that? This is Hamish, and he's 11 weeks old. Hamish, say hello to the camera. What's that? What's that? <laughs> so that's what we've been busy with this end. So we have a quadcopter and a little puppy. Cheers, guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.